At Inverness Assisted Living, where there's more wheels in the hallway than the parking lot, where bingo counts as excitement, his visit was vividly remembered. He had a great personality. An impression so striking, they even recall what he wore. It's tan slacks and a shirt, and I think he had a tie on. A joy that once felt needs to be shared. Have you seen Irwin? Irwin the kangaroo. Seen here in the laps and arms of fan after fan on pictures posted on his very own Facebook page. Of course, when he's not dressed up. He craves it. He craves the attention. He's lounging around the house in his underwear, kicking back in his blue beanbag chair. He will never be aggressive. Christie saved him from certain death after he bashed his head and broke his neck running into a fence. He can get up, take about six hops and fall, but that's it. She's helped him ever since, and he's helped her. Just before she got him, she was suffering from depression and had attempted suicide. I saved him from dying. If they took him away from me right now, he would not live. He would die. He would grieve himself to death. And vice versa? Probably. It would be so hard. Um, I can't imagine a day without him now. But despite his healing powers, Irwin is technically an exotic animal, prohibited from living within the city limits of Broken Arrow. This is the first kangaroo case that I've seen in 18 years on the council. <laughs> to live in BA legally, Irwin needs an exemption from the city council. I would like to meet Irwin. Sure. Something the legal department Whenever has advised against. There should be a way to make an exception when it's a legitimate exception. to. But amazingly, as sure as Irwin has put a smile on faces young and old, the council holds off on kicking him out of town for now. Yes. Let it be said that Broken Air did not hold kangaroo court tonight.